We are back out here live, uh, giving you kind of a preview. It's our own like GDL Cars in the Commons, giving you a preview of Cars in the Commons with Eric and Alex once again. Um, you were just like tempting us with like some of the exotic cars that are going to be there, and I mean you're really excited about one in particular. I am. Well, listen, we've got uh, we've got about 65 to 70 exotic cars that are going to be coming in town. Many of those folks are from out of town, which is really fun. That's a, that's a, that's a compliment, it, right? It, well, it is, and you know they've they've caught wind of uh, you know our event, and um, they want to be a part of it. And so we're super excited. I know that uh, one thing that all the drivers look forward to is the red carpet. So uh, upon arrival, all the guys get to go across the red carpet, get a picture of their car and, you know, our car nerds, we like that stuff. Yeah. And so we're super excited. Big red carpet arrival today. That's Alex right. White is here. It's great to always have you back. Uh, but you've been a part of this since its beginning. Why was it important to yeah, you to well, get involved? When I went to Cars and Commons for the first time, I realized that it's not your average car show. And when I met Eric and I felt his energy and passion about this uh, and how he's been able to raise thousands of dollars for charity, I knew that this was an event I wanted my law firm to be part of yeah. because it's fun. Uh, it's a way for us to spread our message about distracted driving, which fits into a car show theme perfectly, I think. Uh, but also it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to be a good community partner because there's a lot of really great charities that are uh, benefiting from the car show. Yeah, I want you guys to kind of take us around right now to give us a, a kind of a preview of what you brought for us. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, every year we have different sections, right? And yeah. so a couple of these cars are examples of a different few different things. This right here, track car. So the BMW is uh, runs. There's a number of different series that uh, that this runs in. So. This car is a track car, as well as uh, the Corvette over here Corvette is is over also here. a yeah. uh, is also a track car. Let's take um, a look inside. Yeah, yeah, Let's no, take, take, a take a peek. peek take a peek, absolutely. You know, don't give me the keys, Eric. So you'll notice the harness is obviously a manual transmission in that car, which yeah. is uh, which is necessary. And uh, yeah, no, hey, it's all for fun, right? And uh, what do we have here further to the left? The yeah, so Viper. this is a pretty rare car, right? You so brought some really nice stuff for us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this has got a V10 engine in it, um, and a pretty rare car. There's a hot, there's a hard top GTS version of this Viper, which is uh, the rarest of, of all of them. And so, uh, you know, again, we're trying to get a little bit of everything for everyone, whether it's a sports car, whether it's a track car, uh, whether it is an old vintage vehicle. Uh, we're really going to have all of it. Yeah. Uh, do you are you a collector of cars yourself? I am. I am. What do you have? Uh, well, I'm allowed to red, ask that question. I'm going to ask Alex next. What kind of cars does he have? Can I come to your garage? What's going on? Right. Yeah. So the, the red Porsche is what I drove today. Oh, that's yours. Um, that's it's a pretty neat car. That's beautiful. Um, and uh, but you know what? I like them all. I, yeah. I like an old I like an old Ford pickup as much as I like that Porsche. So when you go to a show like this, you, as you're looking around, you think, oh, now maybe I need to get that or maybe I need to step up my game a little bit. You're, you're trying to get me in Sorry. trouble. <laughs> this, this is not good. Do you come home with cars, <laughs> Alex? I mean, are you a collector of cars? Cars too? Uh, I'm I'm a definitely an addict. Uh, uh -huh. I'm 36 years old. At least old. you know you have a problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've had 36 cars in my life and I'm 36 years old. It may accidentally be like 38 right now. Right. Uh, but yeah, my, my dad had a 1980 Corvette when I was four years old. And like from that moment, I've been a car guy my entire life. Yeah. So I now have two Corvettes. Um, so it's it's an it's an addiction. Well, this is going to be a great event. And what I like about this is that it's fun for the entire family because it's kind of an experience of a day, right? That is that's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, with the, for the little folks, we've got uh, all kinds of freebies and fun little stuff that the kids can get. And uh, for us adults, we've got uh, food and beer and uh, obviously tons of fun, tons of tons of cars. And um, hey, support our charities. Yeah. That's what we want. Can you mention some of the charities because you guys are really spreading it around. You're supporting a lot of charities through this event. Yeah. So um, you know our primary. Our primary charity is going to be Norton Children's Foundation. Uh, we earmark that money for the transportation team uh, to try to get the kids back here when they need help. So that's that's first. And then also Louisville Outreach uh, for the Unsheltered is, is also one of our benefactors. And, um, you know, they do a lot of great work each and every week, 52 weeks a year, uh, providing some food and, and, and resources to, uh, to those folks on the street. Well, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Once again, this is happening this Saturday. Uh, 11 to 3. You got it. I got it. Yes, Norton Commons. Norton Commons. I'm leaving with one of these cars, guys. I am.